Diddy has been arrested and revelations about his private life are shaking up the entertainment world. From secret parties with celebrities to mysterious events on his own island, what was once hidden is now coming to light. What was he doing with stars like Justin Bieber? What secrets did he keep? Today we're diving into the 10 most disturbing secrets of Diddy and his dark truth. Let's watch it, it's fascinating. Exploitation Allegations. Sean Diddy Combs, known for his massive success in music and entertainment, has been a central figure in the celebrity world for decades. From his high-profile relationship with Jennifer Lopez in the 90s to his connections with stars like Justin Bieber, Diddy has maintained a powerful and influential presence. However, behind the glittering fame, recent revelations have exposed a dark side that no one saw coming. One of the most disturbing accusations against Sean Diddy Combs involves allegations of trafficking for pleasure. According to court documents and multiple sources, Diddy has been linked to a network that allegedly exploited young women. These women, many from the entertainment industry, were reportedly manipulated or coerced into participating in activities they didn't want to. The accusations include coercion, threats, and violence to ensure their participation in intimate encounters. The claims state that Combs used his vast influence and power within the entertainment industry to lure women into compromising situations. He leveraged his status as a music mogul and high-profile contacts to facilitate this exploitation. Reports suggest that some of these women were forced into intimate relations not only with Diddy, but also with others in his close circle. Fear and intimidation were key elements in maintaining control over these situations. The severity of the accusations lies in the fact that this was not an isolated incident, but part of a repeated pattern over many years. Prosecutors accuse him of running this network for over a decade, using psychological and physical violence, along with threats to ruin the victims' careers if they spoke out. Authorities have also presented evidence such as videos and messages to support these allegations, including documents detailing payments and bribes to victims to prevent the cases from reaching court. Organized crime charges. Another serious charge Diddy faces involves the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act. RICO, a federal law used to prosecute individuals involved in criminal enterprises. In Diddy's case, authorities have linked him to a criminal network involving trafficking for pleasure, money laundering, and coercion. This charge is especially devastating because it implicates not only Diddy, but also several of his associates and businesses. The organized crime charge suggests that Diddy did not act alone but operated within a larger structure with a hierarchy of people helping to facilitate his illegal activities. Investigations suggest that Diddy used his conglomerate of businesses, including his record labels and entertainment companies, as fronts to launder money from these illicit activities. Additionally, he allegedly used his power to intimidate employees and others involved in the crimes, ensuring they stayed silent or actively participated in the schemes. Being charged under this law means the consequences for Diddy could be far more severe. The law allows prosecutors to present evidence of a pattern of criminal behavior over time, potentially leading to longer and harsher sentences if found guilty. The narrative of organized crime surrounding Diddy has shaken the entertainment industry, with many now questioning how much of his business success was built on criminal activities. Cassie Ventura's lawsuit for physical abuse one of the most notorious cases that shook the entertainment world was the lawsuit filed by Cassie Ventura, the singer and model who was in a relationship with Diddy for nearly a decade. In November 2023, Cassie filed a lawsuit detailing years of physical, emotional, and intimate abuse by the mogul. According to her claim, Diddy not only physically assaulted her, but also forced her to engage in intimate acts with other people, including men, under threats of violence and psychological coercion. Cassie also alleged in her lawsuit that Diddy frequently forced her to use illegal substances and, on multiple occasions, violently attacked her when she tried to end the relationship. The lawsuit described a cycle of abuse that included extreme control over her personal and professional life. Diddy, according to legal documents, dictated who she could see, how she could dress, and even whom she could interact with in the music industry. Perhaps most alarmingly, Cassie accused Diddy of recording many of these intimate acts and then using the recordings as a tool of manipulation to maintain control over her. While the lawsuit was eventually settled out of court in a confidential agreement, 
The allegations that emerged during the process were shocking, suggesting a much broader pattern of abuse by Diddy that may have affected other women over the years. This case caused a massive uproar, not only due to the seriousness of the allegations, but also because it highlighted the extent of Diddy's power to control and manipulate not just his romantic partners, but those around him as well. Weapons and substances found in his residence. In November 2023, during an investigation related to charges of trafficking for pleasure and organized crime, authorities raided one of Diddy's properties. What they discovered shocked even the most seasoned agents. Multiple firearms with their serial numbers removed, large quantities of ammunition, and a stash of illegal substances. These weapons were not only illegal due to their modifications, but their presence suggested a preparation for defending against any police intervention or conflicts with other figures in organized crime. The substances, on the other hand, were believed to be linked to the parties and intimate encounters Diddy hosted at his residence, often involving victims of trafficking. According to the allegations, these drugs were used to control the victims and make them more vulnerable. In addition to the weapons and drugs, investigators found video recordings documenting some of the forced encounters, which not only reinforced the accusations against him, but also reveal a methodical and organized pattern of behavior to maintain absolute control over his circle and his victims. This discovery significantly contributed to the charges under organized crime laws, demonstrating that Diddy was operating a far-reaching criminal enterprise beyond initial suspicions. The raid and its findings have also raised serious questions about the safety of those around Diddy and how he managed to operate for so long without being detected. Intimidation of Celebrities and Victims One of the most chilling aspects of Diddy's behavior is his ability to intimidate those around him. Several victims and witnesses have spoken about the fear they felt when trying to speak out against him, describing how he used his power and influence to silence any attempts to expose him. As one of the most influential figures in music and business, Diddy had overwhelming control over many people in his industry, enabling him to maintain a collective silence. Among his tactics were explicit threats, such as the destruction of professional careers and the use of his extensive network of contacts to ensure that his victims received no support. Most of the women who accused him reported receiving constant threats of retaliation if they spoke out. Some even mentioned being followed or monitored by people close to Diddy, further amplifying their sense of paranoia and vulnerability. This type of behavior also extended to others in the industry. It has been reported that several public figures who worked with him, including artists and employees, have mentioned how Diddy had a dominating presence in every aspect of their lives, ensuring that no one dared to go against him. Many speculate that this atmosphere of intimidation allowed Diddy to continue his alleged illicit activities without being reported. Witness Intimidation one of the darkest aspects of the allegations against Diddy is his use of witness intimidation. According to investigations, prosecutors have presented evidence suggesting that Diddy obstructed justice in several cases by paying off or threatening witnesses to remain silent about his illegal activities. While witness intimidation is not uncommon in the entertainment world, in Diddy's case, it appears to have been a recurring tactic. Reports indicate that in many of the abuse and trafficking cases he's implicated in, Key victims and witnesses were pressured not to testify against him. According to court documents and victim statements, Diddy used his considerable wealth to offer payments in exchange for silence or employed more direct methods of intimidation, such as threats of physical retaliation or ruining their careers. This strategy allowed the rapper and businessman to evade the consequences of his actions for years, maintaining a system of silence around him. The fact that authorities have gathered enough evidence to bring these obstruction of justice charges to trial marks a significant turning point in the case, showing that despite his efforts, Diddy has not been able to keep his crimes hidden. Witness intimidation is a serious charge that could be added to the others, potentially leading to a much harsher sentence if he is found guilty. Connection to Kim Porter's death the death of Kim Porter, Diddy's ex-partner and mother of three of his children, has been surrounded by rumors and controversy since it occurred in 2018. While the official cause of her death was listed as pneumonia, many close to her and within the entertainment industry have expressed doubts about the circumstances. In recent years, theories have emerged suggesting that Porter may have known too much about Diddy's illegal activities, which could have played a role in her mysterious passing. 
Porter and Diddy had an on and off relationship for several years, and although they publicly maintained a cordial image, rumors suggest that Kim was aware of Diddy's alleged crimes and abuses. Some sources have insinuated that Porter was considering speaking out about what she knew, fueling speculation about whether her death was truly accidental or if something more sinister was involved. While these theories have not been confirmed, the growing interest in the case has sparked widespread debate, especially among Diddy's followers and those who believe Porter's death may have been orchestrated to protect his image. So far, no official investigation into her death has been reopened, but the topic remains a significant part of discussions surrounding Diddy's abuse of power. Connection to Notorious B.I.G.'s Death One of the most persistent conspiracy theories surrounding Sean Diddy Combs is his alleged connection to the murder of the notorious B.I.G., Christopher Wallace, his close friend and collaborator. Biggie was shot to death in Los Angeles in 1997, just months after the death of his rival Tupac Shakur. Although Diddy has consistently maintained that he had nothing to do with Biggie's death, theories about his involvement or knowledge of the incident have endured for decades. Speculation about Diddy's involvement began because Biggie and Diddy were deeply entangled in the violent East Coast-West Coast rivalry in hip-hop during the 1990s, which culminated in the murders of both Tupac and Biggie. Some believe that Diddy may have known about a potential attack on his friend and did not do enough to prevent it. Others take the theory further, suggesting that Diddy might have been involved in Biggie's murder to protect his own interests or his growing music empire. Over the years, various people close to the case have provided details that support these theories. However, authorities have never presented conclusive evidence implicating Diddy in the murder. Violence toward employees. Another disturbing revelation involves accusations of physical violence that Diddy allegedly directed at his own employees. In 2023, a former member of his personal team came forward with claims that Diddy violently attacked him, tied him up, and then filmed the incident, creating an atmosphere of terror within his inner circle. This employee, who worked for Diddy for years, described a work relationship based on fear and control. He claimed that the rapper not only physically assaulted him on more than one occasion, but also used these acts of violence as a form of humiliation, filming the incidents and threatening to release the footage if the employee ever considered speaking publicly. This type of behavior suggests a pattern of abuse and coercion that extended beyond the women involved in his trafficking cases. While abuse toward employees is not new in the entertainment industry, the graphic details accompanying this case have made it particularly alarming. The fact that Diddy allegedly abused people so close to him, who were financially dependent on him, reflects an extreme use of his power and influence to control those around him. Documentary in Development by 50 Cent one of the most recent developments surrounding the accusations against Diddy is the production of a documentary by Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, who has been one of Diddy's most vocal critics in recent years. In 2023, 50 Cent announced that he was working on a documentary series that would delve deeply into the legal and moral accusations against Diddy, shedding light on previously unknown aspects. The documentary promises to be a hard-hitting piece, not only addressing the crimes Diddy is accused of, but also featuring testimonies from other figures in the entertainment industry who may have been victims or witnesses of his abuses. Additionally, the series will explore the culture of silence that has allowed wealthy individuals like Diddy to evade consequences for so long. The project has generated significant anticipation, not only for its potential impact on Diddy's public image, but also because it promises to reveal new details about the crimes and abuses in which he has been involved. Given 50 Cent's track record as a producer of impactful documentaries, it is likely that this project will bring to light new testimonies and evidence that could further complicate Diddy's already precarious legal situation. By delving into Diddy's dark secrets, we see how fame and ambition can ruin lives. What good is owning an island or several mansions if you end up in prison? This story makes us reflect on how the misuse of power destroys everything. Is it really worth it? Let me know in the comments. Here are two options that you'll surely love. 